In this section, I'm going to show you how you can add fillets to your shape. So I'm going to create a new part here. So I go and click on new and type in part and I hit OK. You can see that the part is going to be named part one. And now I am in part design environment. First of all, I want to add a sketch. So I go to YZ plane, go to sketch and I'm using profile tool to create a very simple sketch like you here. I go and add these lines, go down to the left and to the top and close my profile. This is a closed profile, so it is going to create a, a solid object. So I select padding and I'm going to add 50 millimeters in both directions. So I click on mirrored extent. I hit OK and now I have this. So first of all, I should go to trace of features tool set. If you do not have it, you can click on dress of features or you can go to insert menu and dress of features this is easier way to find your tool so on dress of features I'm going to select edge fillet first of all you can see the radius of fillet is 5 millimeters I'm going to change it about to about 15 millimeters so the object to fillet means that you can select as many edges as you wish so this is the first edge that I'm going to select and this is the second edge, I guess. And I guess two edges are quite OK. So I hit on o click OK and you can see this added to my shape. So edge fillet added a fillet to the faces that are adjacent to that edge and not anything else. So this is the first thing that you saw. So I press Ctrl Z several times to undo what I have done. And I'm going to pad to left a little bit. The second thing that I want to add here is going to dress a feature and add a variable fillet. Variable fillet means you can add fillet on one edge, but at different points you can have different amount of you know fillet in. That is, the radius is going to be different in some points. So first of all, I want to create some points and show you how you can change the fillet in that point. So I'm going to add three points, for example, to uh this edge i guess this edge is okay so i click on this face i go to sketch and now i'm aligned to this view i'm adding some points here so i go to profile and add some points for example the first one is going to be here the second one is going to be here and third one is going to be here now i want these points on the edge so i select the constraint select the point and select this edge and now you can see that it is about 70 millimeters i want to make it zero so i hit ok and now this is on the you know edge of course i can select this point press ctrl and select this edge and go and click on constraint define and select coincidence this is easier to you know uh, make sure that the point is on the edge and the third point is going to be on the edge like this so I hit the coincidence and now I have three points on the edge and of course uh, this line has a beginning and an ending so I have total of five points so I exit my workbench and I press in a blank area I go and select this variable radius fillet tool and now the first thing is the default radius the default radius is gonna be about 15 millimeters I guess and the edge that is going to, you know, uh, that I'm going to apply fillet to is this edge. Now I should select the points. You can see that two points are selected by default, the beginning and the end point. But I'm going to add these three points that I have created before. So I highlight the points. I go and select this point, this point, and this point. And you can see that I have different amounts of fillet added to this. I double click on this constraint and make it about 35 millimeter for example and you can see the radius is increasing to 35 I double click on this I want to make it about 20 millimeters and I double click on this constraint and make it about 20 millimeters so I press OK and now I have different amounts of fillet assigned to these points and I can go and click on OK you can see the result is like this so variable fillet is a very nice feature and you can add different amounts of feature, uh, you know, fillet to your shape. 
Okay, now I press Ctrl Z again to undo what I have done. Now the third thing that I want to show you is type of fillet that is called I'm not going to talk about cordial fillet, I'm going to talk about face face and three tangent fillet. So if I want to select face face, you can see that it asks me to select the faces. So I can go and select this face and this face and now you can see two faces are selected and the you know adjacencies between two faces going to be filleted. So let's go back to the first fillet that I have created and see the difference between this and the edge fillet. If I press Ctrl Z again to undo this and go and select the edge fillet, you can see that instead of selecting edges, I can select faces. But what happens whenever I select faces? Any edges that is as you know adjacent to this face is gonna apply fillet to this. So if I click OK, you can see that every edge. Apply, you know, uh, adjacent to this face applies this amount of fillet. But whenever you select face face, only the edge that is between the two faces will apply the fillet. So this is the type of uh, you know fillet that you have. Again, I'll press Control Z several times. And the last mode that I'm going to talk about is three tangent fillet. And this is very interesting because the amount of fillet is going to you know, uh, ca be calculated automatically by carrier. So I will select two opposing faces. For example, this face, and I rotate, and this is the opposing face. So I have two faces selected, and the face to remove uh, is going to be this, for example. And if you click here, you can see that instead of removing, you will have some addition to this material. So if I click OK, you can see that uh, the material is added to here because it has calculated that this fillet needs some more material. But now select again, the, the, I'm going to select three tangent fillets again and show you some other you know, mode. If I select this face, for example, and now I'm select the opposing face that is this. And now the face to remove is going to be this face, the face between these two. You can see that now it should remove some of the face. So this is automatically calculated by Cadia. So this is interesting. I want to have a one to have it one more time. So I go and select this. And this is the first face. This is the second face. And this is the face to remove. And I hit OK. And you can see the result is very interesting. So these are different types of fillets. And I'm going to talk about cordial fillets in the next sections.